Hey folks, here we are once again back at Hankster's Hot Rods here in Homer City, Pennsylvania. And we have yet again another addition to our inventory to go over with you. And this, again, we just went over a super nice Ford pickup truck just the other day. We've got another very nice and kind of out of the ordinary vehicle here, maybe two for us. This is a 1969 Chevrolet Suburban here. Um, now this truck, I'll just tell you real quick here, very nice all the way around inside outside even the complete underside on this thing so when we get to the underside pay attention to that because it's very very nice underneath um, so just to give you a quick rundown on the vehicle the uh, kind of the basics on it so you have the 69 Chevy Suburban here we've got the two-tone paint job here with the uh, the copper and the uh, cream colored paint job here um, it does have the black pinstripes on it two-tone paint scheme here on this vehicle um, as far as the driveline goes motor we've got a 427 cubic inch big block Chevy it is a tall deck motor 700 r4 automatic overdrive transmission and we do have the GM 12 volt rear end in this thing and they've gone with custom wheels on this these are Boyd Coddington smoothie style wheels 20 inch diameter here with the um, obviously painted white and then or the cream color here to go along with the uh, color on the truck itself and then of course they've got the chrome center hubcaps there also super nice look and then as far as the tires go these are brand new cooper z on tires um, i want to say the size on these are 255 45 R20s, both uh, both the fronts and the rears. So again, that makes you know doing your um, all of your uh, uh, tire rotations and so forth very very simple. Having the same wheel and tire on all four corners. Now, as far as this goes, um, not a whole lot of bling per se. Um, you've got the chrome front and rear bumpers on the vehicle, and just kind of like your your normal stuff that you would find on it as far as bright work. But not uh, they didn't go over and above on that they've kept it pretty clean as far as that goes and it it, it makes for a very nice custom vehicle here so again our uh turn signal or our side marker bezels here and lenses those are all in really great shape here there's no chips or cracks in any of the lenses and the bezels are all in really good shape with no pitting there uh, if we come back here a little bit further again we i know we've already been over those wheels and tires but we come back to our doors on this vehicle now this i i believe they consider these like a three door version um, so you just had the driver's side front door you did not have the back door but you have it over on the other side so you uh, again kind of like a three door version here but again your gaps here and elevations on your doors are all very nice you can see nice tight gaps here on the doors um, all of your body lines all match up your elevations with the rest of your body here and your fenders are all right on with one another here uh, the little bit of bright work that you do have the mirror or the, the door handles here in chrome there's no pitting in any of those and then we do have both mirrors the driver side as well as the passenger side the round mirror the chrome finish is in great shape as well as the lenses in those too the glass in those there's no chips or cracks anywhere there as far as the windows go the side glass here all the way back obviously as you can see it is tinted glass um, and there are no chips or cracks in any of the glass the whole way back this vehicle at least on this side we'll check it out as we walk around here um, you got your uh, drip rail molding here all the way back again that is nice and straight all painted body color there too and again and feeling through that rain gutter there nice and smooth all the way throughout there now we'll open up our driver's side door take a look at our interior at least in the front here on this side and again you'll see we've got the beige cloth buckets up front with the headdress all the seat belts are here for this vehicle both fronts and the rear bench seat all have seat belts um, they are a more modern seat again very comfortable also as far as your dash and instrumentation that is all pretty much all factory 
stuff there. You've got the beige upholstery up on your dash pad there also to kind of bring everything together. Factory heat and AC controls, and then it does have a custom auto sound AM FM radio there. Painted dash, again, same color as the uh, beige on the outside of the vehicle. Uh, all of your seat upholstery is in great shape. Carpeting, no rips or tears, anything there. Um, and then your door panels also. Again, door panels are two-toned with the beige upholstery here as far as the door panels go. Uh, the armrest pad, no splits or cracks anywhere there. And again, all of your door handles and everything are all in good shape. The other thing we always check here are the, all of our weather stripping and our seals around the door frames. And then if there is any on the doors, we always check that out. This actually doesn't, you just have the seals on your door frame itself. So that's pretty much it as far as the interior goes, at least from the driver's side, we'll check it out, uh, both the front and back seats uh, whenever we get around to the passenger side. Door shuts really good on this vehicle. Again, you can tell, you know, everything's all lined up and the whole side of this vehicle is super straight too on this car. Um, again, that paint is in really nice shape all the way around. You've got all of your black moldings that go around your windows here. Those are all in great shape too. Gas cap, it's in good condition. And again, your side marker lights back here on the driver's side rear. No chips or cracks in those lenses and the bezels have no pitting on those. As we come around to the back of the vehicle, again, you do have your doors back here that you can open up and get stuff into the rear. We are gonna take a look at that here in just a moment. But again, you can see the hinges even, those big metal hinges, uh, all the paint is all there. So again, nothing's chipped, uh, nothing's scratched. These uh, hinges all work and function very, very nicely. Um, your taillight lenses, as well as the reverse light lenses. No chips or cracks in any of that. And your chrome on your rear bumper is in really good shape too. Uh, again, maybe a little bit older uh, chrome on it, but again, all in all in really nice shape here. Polished up really well, looks good on the vehicle here. Come back over here to our doors. Again, we've got our chrome handles, which are in great shape with no pitting. You've got the 427 badging back here. And again, that is exactly what we have underneath the hood of this vehicle too. Uh, all of your black moldings around the windows are all there, all intact, all in nice shape here. Um, and again, the same thing with the glass. Tinted windows back here and no chips or cracks anywhere on that glass. So we'll go ahead and open this up give you a good look at the uh, interior here of, of the back section of the the uh, cargo section here so again as we open that all up you can see it's very nicely carpeted in here again there's really no marks or anything on any of the carpeting you've got that beige upholstery down the sides up over the wheel wells you can see the back of that uh, rear bench seat up there also uh, all of which is in nice shape again that uh, the uh, beige uh, headliner that comes the whole way back through and the same thing with our doors here on the back now you can see the doors back here are even two-toned you've got your door panel upholstery here also everything all um, you know fixed up here very nice good and solid back here like I said the hinges on the doors all function very very nicely so there you have it uh, very nice interior to this Suburban so we'll go ahead and close this all back up again let's make sure we shut it good there we go Okay, there we go, all good and solid back here. So you can see everything works and functions as it should. And then we'll come around to the passenger side of our Suburban here. Again, looking up across the side of the vehicle, very straight for a big, long Suburban like this. Same thing for all of our windows here, all tinted down the passenger side. Our drip rail moldings painted the same as the body color, that uh, cream color there. The black window moldings all the way around, which are in great shape. 
no chips or cracks in any of the glass. And again, over on this side now, we do in fact have both your rear door and your front door. So while we're here at the back, you'll see the gaps here to the back side, as well as the front. Very uniform, all of your body lines matching up. We'll go ahead and open this door up so we can take a look at the back seat now. Again, the carpeting's in great shape. You've got that same beige upholstery on that rear bench seat. The seat belts are all there too, and you can see how well everything has been maintained on this vehicle. Again, very nice upholstery there. All of your weather strips and seals all the way around the door frame are in great shape. Rubber bump stops there in the door frame there. So again, everything all looks good. Even your door panels here are in great shape. Close that up. We'll come up here to the door now on the passenger side. Same thing. Gaps front and back all look good. Mirror, the chrome finish is in great shape. The glass is in great shape. Same thing with our door glass here. No chips or cracks there. Let's open this up. Take a look from the passenger side now. Again, we do have in this vehicle a uh, center console there. It's a fold down center console. It does have the cup holders in it also. Steering column, very nicely painted up there to match the truck. Uh, got the wood grain custom steering wheel there, column shift there, and then like I said, the, uh, the upholstery on the uh, dash pad there to match all of your seats and carpeting, just a very nice touch. And as we look at the passenger side door, the door panel itself is in great shape. Your paintwork, all very nice. Your armrest pads, no splits or cracks there. So that's the passenger side. And again, that all closes nicely. And then we basically come around now. Again, you got your side marker lights there. Everything looks good there. And now we've made it around to the front. So here's our grill on our 69 Suburban. Everything looks very good. Nice and straight up here. The grill itself is all intact. There's no cracks, no splits, no breaks anywhere. You got your bow tie emblem right in the center. Your headlights, those are your glass lenses. No chips or cracks on any of that. Same thing here with your parking lights or your turn signals here. Those are in great shape too. And the chrome on the front bumper up here is in very good condition. No pitting, no cracks, no, uh, no flaking or anything. Polished up really nice here as far as that front bumper. Now as far as the hood goes, this is an all steel hood here. Nicely adjusted up on the vehicle here. Painted that beige color. Your cowl area, if we look down through the vents back here, we can see that everything down in there is good and solid. Of course, we've got our black moldings all the way around our windshield. And again, the windshield, no cracks whatsoever on that windshield. And again, you've got your wiper arms and a good set of blades there on it too. So let's come around. We'll go ahead and lift the hood. And that way we can go ahead and discuss as far as the engine and uh, the rest of the drive line here, what we've got. So with the hood open, of course, the hinges, the springs, those all functioning as they should. The underside of the hood done here, kind of in that flat black. It's kind of like a textured uh, uh, coating there as far as the underside of the hood goes. Um, and the uh, engine compartment itself is all done in the black also. As far as that motor, um, as I mentioned, it is a 427 cubic inch big block Chevy tall deck motor. Uh, you've got the chrome air cleaner on it with the 427 uh, decals up there. Air filter element, uh, super clean there. As far as the carburetor goes, that is a Holley 600 CFM. I believe it was like a uh, street warrior uh, carburetor. Uh, it does have the electric choke on it and that is all sitting up on a Wyand aluminum intake there. Um, so that would be your air and fuel delivery for the motor. As far as the ignition system on this truck, uh, we've got an MSD distributor back there along with an MSD blaster 2 coil and the MSD 6AL ignition box back here. Uh, as far as the plug wires go, um, they have upgraded wires. Um, these are Max Fire wires. I'm just trying to find a uh, size on the wire because they definitely look at least an 8 millimeter. 
Um, so yeah, we'll just go with that. I can't see the, the size on it, but it's at least an eight millimeter, maybe an eight and a half on there. Nice set of chrome valve covers there. We've got the PCV valve and the breather over on the driver's side. That way everything vents properly as it should. Um, you can see all the lines here for your heat and your AC unit for this truck. It is all here, all the belts are here, and this is functional. Now this is aftermarket market air not factory um, but aftermarket is usually a more efficient you know AC uh, unit than what uh, factory would have been power steering uh, or, or power brakes I should say as well as power steering on this vehicle an aluminum radiator in here for cooling purposes nice chrome shroud there also and as far as your fan goes it would be uh, I think that is a steel bladed fan there also um, so that's going to keep things nice and cool your plug wires all have the uh, the heat sleeves on them uh, down where they're close to the headers um, to keep those from you know getting in touch with those and you know just from keeping the heat away from those uh, as far as the exhaust goes this does have an inch and three quarter long tube header on it and then a full three inch exhaust all the way back through uh, it's got the crossover pipe on it um, and then it's got big four inch exhaust tips on it back there two chrome exhaust tips uh, to finish off everything there now behind this motor We've got that 700 R4 automatic transmission, and then of course the 12 bolt Posi GM rear end back there too. So as far as the drive line goes, a very stout drive line on this vehicle. Um, super nice looking vehicle. Um, the suspension on this thing, I mean, you've got all good components. KYB gas adjust shocks, front and rear. We've got the CPP tubular upper and lower control arms on this vehicle. So again. And everything super super nice here um, actually I can't wait to go through the underside here with you and uh, just a couple minutes here on it but with that said um, I always remind you depending on where you're watching this video from always make sure that you go to our company site that's hanksters.com and check the vehicle out there again you're gonna have upwards of a hundred photos of this vehicle here all the way around inside outside underneath you name it it's there you can click on it blow it up it, you know do whatever you want save pictures however you want to go about it you can do that with our photos um, as far as the pricing you're going to see retail pricing there the fact that that includes enclosed uh, shipping whenever the vehicle uh, can go and close that is sometimes you get just too big of a vehicle that it has to go open um, but I would say this one definitely would go and close even though it's longer it's still kind of short enough to go in an enclosed trailer um, and the fact that it includes our Hanksters three month 3,000 mile powertrain warranty if you're interested in seeing exactly how that warranty works definitely reach out to us we'll be glad to go over that with you a very simple process if you would ever have to use that um, and then yeah again um, we do all sorts of uh, uh, add-ons uh, installations also uh, a vehicle like this I'm not quite sure exactly what you would really add to it I mean it's got the air it's got power steering power brakes uh, but on vehicles that might not have some of that stuff or if you've seen or thought of something you would like to have added or changed on this also reach out to us for that we'll be glad to get you pricing on parts and labor to get that done so with that said give us just a moment here we're gonna close this thing up get it around on our lift and then we'll meet back up to go over the underside with you here in just one moment Hey folks, here we are now back again here on the lift here with our 1969 Chevy Suburban here. So I'm going to run through the complete underside of this truck here for you. Um, kind of go over all of our components that we're looking at, condition of everything, which just on first glance is in great shape here on this uh, vehicle. So we're gonna go through everything. I'm gonna call out everything that I can, let you know what we've got here. So starting here up front, of course, our radiator is usually where we start at here. We wanna make sure that the whole bottom side of that radiator is nice and dry, and it is. Um, no leaks or drips anywhere on the radiator. Even all of our hoses and such, those are all in good shape as well. Um, so again, you've got a front cross 
bus member here. Again, this is a big truck, big long frame on it. So again, you use a little bit of support there throughout it. But again, your front cross member is nice and straight all the way across on there. If we come back here, we're gonna talk about um, most of our suspension here up front, and then we'll get into a little bit of our drive line too with the motor and transmission. But as far as the suspension goes, uh, we've got this big front cross member here, the main cross member up front here, nice and straight. Doesn't look like it's ever been hit on anything. Um, as far as our control arms, these are upgrades here. These are CPP name brand, uh, and they are the uh, tubular upper and lower control arms on this truck, which makes it very nice. Again, a lot of times the stamp seal components, sometimes you'll get some deflection in those as far as the suspension goes. With the tubular stuff, it's strong. It's not going to give you any kind of deflections uh, and it's going to make your suspension work a whole lot better for you. As far as the shocks go, um, we've got KYB gas adjust shocks, not only on the front, but on all four corners of the car. So you've got good shocks on each corner of the car. Uh, now this vehicle is a power steering and power brake vehicle. As a matter of fact, the brakes, we've got four wheel disc brakes uh, and those are all drilled and slotted rotors too. So again, drilled slotted rotors, that's gonna keep you nice and cool. You're not gonna experience any kind of brake fade on this vehicle. And again, you should get very good performance out of those disc brakes. And then as far as wheels and tires, of course, we've already been through our walk around. You got to see a much better view of those wheels and tires. But again, from the backside here, you're looking at those 20 inch Boyd Coddington steely wheels there. And they uh, obviously from our exterior walk around video you saw we do have those painted in the gloss white as far as the tires go same size tire on all four corners um, these are the cooper zeons and as far as the size go it is a 255 45 R20 on all four corners. Uh, again, with a vehicle like this, makes it very easy just to do your tire rotations, simply flipping them front to back. Now, if we come in now for the uh, some of the drive line here, the motor transmission, the motor again, that's that 427 tall deck, tall deck motor. Um, the actual oil pan itself, I'm looking at the gaskets all the way around. I want to make sure that that's good and sealed up for you, and it is. No leaks or drips here, no leaks or drips at the drain plug, and nothing coming off the backside of the pan either. As far as the transmission goes, this is at 700R4 automatic overdrive GM transmission. The oil pan itself on the transmission, all free from any leaks or drips. And we've got the cover there for the flywheel and the torque converter. Before we get any further, exhaust on this thing. We've got inch and three quarter long tube headers, and we've got a full three inch exhaust on this truck. Again, three inch, it's got the crossover pipe here also, uh, and then it's got the accelerator turbo mufflers with tailpipes, and then when we get back there, we'll show you, it's got four inch chrome exhaust tips on the back of the truck. Uh, if we come back here a little bit further, uh, checking out the frame, and the floor pans on this truck. Again, these th this thing looks great underneath here. Uh, I honestly, I do not see any patching uh, of the floors here. That all looks solid. Uh, again, you can see it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't have heavy undercoating on it. You can see all of the stamping lines and marks on this thing. Um, so again, this is in excellent shape here. The frame is nice and straight down both sides too. As far as uh, what I'm looking at, as far as the back of the transmission, again, it's got a tubular cross member for the transmission for your mount to sit on. And and that is all in great shape. Even that output shaft seal, no leaks or drips around that. And that's where your slip yoke slides into it. Speaking of the drive shaft, all universals have been checked over on this. The drive shaft is actually a split unit. So it's gonna come back here. We've got another cross member here that it goes through all of your bushings and seals and so forth. Those are all in great shape. And then you have the back portion of the drive shaft here also. Again, it is weighted, balanced, so that's gonna help eliminate any kind of drive lane vibrations that you might have. 
all of your brake lines, your fuel lines are all run nice and neat. The rockers on this truck are good and solid down both sides and we can see that from both the outside of the vehicle as well as on the inside of the vehicle as well. We can see all of that from down here. And again, this has the emergency brake all hooked up. So even though we've got disc brakes on the back, you've got your emergency brake kit all hooked up back there and functional as well. Uh, if we come back to the rear of the truck now, again, this is pretty much what your kind of your stock suspension would be. You got these big long arms here, which are super straight. All of your mounting hardware and bushings are all in great shape here. Again, those KYB gas adjust shocks with the coils back here also. Uh, again, everything is in nice condition. The rear end itself, this is a GM 12 bolt rear end, posi unit inside here, so posi differential, 323 gear ratio, pinion seal, as well as the differential cover all the way around is all nice and dry. Uh, as far as, like I said, we've already gone over the brakes and the wheels, but again, just to rehash, we've got the drilled slotted rotors even on the rear here. Again, those 20 inch Void Coddington Steelys with the uh, Cooper uh, Xeon tires back here. Um, and the sizes were once again, 255, 45 R20. Now I mentioned with that exhaust that we've got the tailpipes all the way back through with those four inch tips. Now here they are, four inch chrome tips there on your exhaust. So it's, it looks nice and beefy from the backside. You know, again, you've got, you know, lots of, uh, uh, lots of area there for the exhaust to go out of that truck there and get out of there. As far as the fuel tank goes, fuel tank's in great shape. No dents or dings anywhere there. Again, all of your straps across there are in good condition too. No leaks or drips of any fuel lines coming back here. Again, floors from what we see underneath here are all good and solid. You've got the pannered bar also here for your rear suspension to keep your uh, rear end here um, laterally located in the vehicle so it doesn't move. Um, so all of that is in great shape. Of course, you've got the chrome rear bumper at the very back of the vehicle here. Again, super, super, super nice looking vehicle here, even from the underside. Uh, again, um, just so that you guys are, are fully aware, we are in fact an ATC trailer dealer also. Um, so I always try to remind you folks that if you're in the need of a trailer, whether it be a race trailer or an enclosed car hauler, uh, we have multiple models here in stock. Um, just go to our website. You can do it right on the website you're on right now, looking at this truck, even at hangsters.com. You can check out our inventory tab, click on trailer inventory to get there, or go directly to our website for trailers at hangstershaulers.com. You'll see the pricing, pictures, um, all the options and so forth there for the trailers. Definitely, if that's something you're in the market for, let us know. We'll be glad to help you out there and work with you on pricing. With that said, we'll go ahead and get this vehicle now down off the lift. We'll go ahead and fire that 427 motor up, let you hear exactly what that, as well as this three inch exhaust system all sound like. 